sleep problems affect more people than you could probably imagine. A recent study shows that 27% of the population has trouble falling asleep or staying asleep most nights and that a whopping 68% or an estimated 164 million Americans struggle with sleep at least once a week. Millions of people around the world are dealing with the inability to get sleep. If you are suffering from any of these sleep problems, I assure you that there is hope to break out of the cycle. In this video, we are going to talk a little bit more about insomnia. We are also going to take a look at some of the most effective ways to solve the problems and overcome insomnia once and for all. But before we get started, can you do us a favor and gently tap that like button? We also ask that you subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon. This way, you will be notified anytime we release new videos about other natural home remedies. So without any further ado, let's get started. Insomnia is a sleep disorder that drains all of our resources that our bodies and minds need to function. Lack of energy, being unable to concentrate, grumpiness, and a failing immune system can all be related to not being able to get a regular and relaxing night's sleep. Many doctors out there are quick to prescribe pills and suggest other possible remedies, but unfortunately they are not solving the real problem. Truth be told, most doctors don't have any real idea how to offer you actual permanent relief from this ailment, so they usually follow procedure by offering temporary relief. The repeat business allows them to continue making money, but in the end, you are the one that suffers. If doctors actually took the time to analyze every single patient with a sleep problem and coordinated the data that they collected, they would most likely be able to determine that the actual cause of insomnia can be directly correlated with stress. Everyone suffers from some form of stress, but it's how the person handles the stress that dictates whether or not it affects that person's sleeping patterns and to what degree. Controlling stress levels has a direct effect in the battle against insomnia, as well as a number of many other sleep problems. Finding a workable solution might be easier than you think, so I wanted to share a few tips that you can try for yourself. I know that if you take this and actually do something with it, you will be amazed at just how well they actually do work. One thing that you need to realize is that you must learn to break the cycle that is preventing you from getting sleep. You must learn to concentrate on replacing the negative, stressful things that are circling around in your head with things that actually assist you in falling and staying asleep. Each one of the methods that I am about to share with you has helped millions of others over the years. Some of these may not break the negative cycle for you, but others will, so I ask that you start with one that makes the most sense for you and give it a try. If that first method is unsuccessful, come back and try the next until you are able to find a way to break the cycle and move in the right direction. Getting started, I have found that the most useful method has been counting sheep. I know that you probably find this funny, but when done correctly, the results can be shocking. Most people using this method will start at 1 and just keep on counting. Sometimes this may help you fall asleep, but it is more of a result of boredom so it's not actually a structured remedy. To apply this method properly and achieve quick and regular results, you should try and choose a number around 100 and count backwards until you get to 1. The reasoning behind this is that you actually have an endpoint, which once reached, you will be able to fall asleep. As you count, take long, deep breaths. This may not work the first time, but once you get to 0, or if you have forgot where you are, start over again at 100. Doing this clears your mind of other thoughts that are getting in the way of you getting sleep and it gives you a positive focal point for your efforts that is both very simple and even more effective. Another method that has been proven to be effective is the tap pattern method. As you are laying in bed, gently start to tap your hand or foot to the beat of your favorite song. If you need to, you can put the music on as quiet as possible so that you can just barely hear it, as straining to hear it along with the gentle tapping will help your body create its own sleep cycle and you will find yourself easily drifting into a nice slumber. While this method is truly effective, it may not be the best method for you if you have a sleeping partner, as this may keep them awake. If you find yourself in this situation, you might want to find another bed in the house to give it a try as it's a small price to pay to be able to find yourself in a much needed deep sleep. 
Now, there may be other factors in place that you do not have any control over that can affect whether or not you are able to achieve regular and relaxing sleep. Things such as noise, light, and temperature can cause you to lose sleep, so I recommend that you do what you can to alter your sleep environment to make sure that you have a dark and quiet place where you feel both safe and relaxed. Once you can learn to control your patterns using these tips we just discussed, you will find that you will be able to easily adapt to any environment because you will know that you are able to sleep whenever you want to. The last thing that we're going to discuss is how body temperature can affect your ability to fall asleep and stay asleep. If your body gets overheated while you are asleep, this can and will disturb any sleep patterns that you are able to develop. Many people like to go to sleep with socks on because when they don't, their feet get cold. Wearing socks to bed is a definite no. Also, the use of electric blankets can have a similar effect and should be avoided at all costs. You will have much more success and have a much better chance of falling asleep and staying asleep if your body is cooler, not hotter. In the past, I have let stress-related issues affect my ability to sleep, which led me to these tips that I have shared in this video. With a little practice and determination, I was able to solve my sleep problems, and I know that you will too. If you are tired of dealing with the ever-increasing costs associated with unfavorable doctor's visits and prescription drugs, you should always investigate at-home remedies and treatments. While it can be hard to tell the difference between many of the old wives' tales and proven methods and remedies that actually work, by doing a little research, you are sure to find that many at-home remedies can not only save you money, but it is also better for your body and the environment altogether. If you would like to learn more about some of the best home remedies for everything from simple colds and indigestion to making your own soaps and cleaners that can help you save tons of money, check out the links below to learn more. Also, if you found this video helpful, let us know by liking and sharing this video with anyone that may be suffering from these nagging sleep problems. Be sure to subscribe to our channel as we are putting out 2-3 to three videos every week discussing proven home remedies and treatments. Thank you for watching. Have a good night and sweet dreams.